welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Today, what we're going to do is learn about Vinyl Guitar 2. If you haven't heard of it and you haven't seen me use it yet, now is the perfect time for me to show you exactly what this Vinyl Guitar VST can do. So let's go. All right, so here we are on uh, Echo Sounds Work. They're, they're the ones who actually make the vinyl guitar. And as you can see, it does work as a VST and AAX for Windows, Mac, 64-bit. Super, super dope uh, option that you actually have to do different guitar sounds, styles, and things like that. And as you see, it is a free download. So yes, it is free to download, All right? So this is what the vinyl guitar looks like uh, once you actually download it, uh, really simple. Um, they did have a freer version, a free version before with the, the new and the old, they show in the comparison here. Really, really cool. All right. So there's different, uh, options that you can listen to on here. And of course they have their own video of how it actually works. Uh, it does work in any doll, uh, handcrafted presets, 10 layer deep as really, really dope. I, that's one of the things I really like about it. So let's kind of go over it and show you guys exactly what this thing can do. So let's go. All right, and here we are in Reaper and this theme is the Reaper tips theme if you are interested in actually getting that. So um, let's start by pulling up that vital guitar. All right, so this is the vinyl guitar too. This is what it looks like. And this is the people who make it echo sounds works really cool. You have your main screen, you have a layer screen and you have an effects option here. So you also have a drop down to change the guitar from this first screen. So you don't have to actually go into the layers to do it. Um, really, really cool. Right. Uh, very low CPU intensity as well for this VST. I think that's uh, very much a key to making these, these VST so good. Um, you have your option for a transient. So if you click on the transient part, it'll light up as you can see, and you can change your transient on here. Um, if you click it again, it'll turn it off. If you put on the string buzz, you have the buzz here, right? And you have guitar noises, like, you know, going down the strings, little, um, hits and things like that will actually be added to your guitar. So I think that's super, super dope. All right. Uh, and this is the levels of all the guitars. So you have up to 10 that you can kind of use at one time here. And if you hit on the, the keyboard, it'll show the keyboard really, really dope. And, uh, this is just the option to play, to show all the playing things. So you have an option for width here. So you could turn on and off through width of the guitar. So you can, you know, bring it down or bring it up. Right, so bring it down, bring it up to bring up the width of the guitar. You have an exciter here as well, so you can make it more exciting, <laughs> right? So you have that option here as well, and you have an option for tone at the end. Right, so let's go to the layers. So right up here, you go to layers, and these are the different guitars. So this is Vinyl Guitar 1, so this is the first one that they actually put out. So that's what that's this. So that's how that sounds. So this is Vinyl Guitar 2. So if you click on that, it'll open this up. So I'm going to turn off the one. And let's turn up the volume. So this is Vinyl Guitar 2. This is what it actually sounds like. So let's go to the next one, which is the Postcard Nylon. I'm going to turn that one up. Right, and they all come with their own unique sounds. So this is the harmonic plucks. And this is the lo-fi keter. Right? So all of them, as you can see, they sound good, right? Uh, and in this middle part here, you have an option to change the settings for whatever guitar you had it on. So as you see, this one is highlighted. It'll show me the settings for that one. If I go to this one, you'll see the harmonic plugs, but seeing that it's not clicked on, I can't change it until you click on the actual sound. And then you can actually go in here and change 
uh, your equalization of it for your pitches, all that stuff right here inside the middle of it. And I'm going to bring you to the effects right after we go through the rest of the sounds. So this is the, the haze nylon. And of course these all can be layered. So if I wanted to actually have like this vinyl guitar, let's turn this one down. Right. So I can have multiple and you can have them all playing at the same time if you wanted to. So that, that makes it super, super dope. Uh, especially if you're doing more of a, a creation of sounds uh, for your guitar, I think that'll really, really help out a lot. And that's how that one sounds. And this is the sculpt nylon. Right. And the grain guitar. Ah, that one's dope. <laughs> That one is super dope. All right, so this is 10. All right, so all of them, like I said, they have their own unique sound to them. Uh, and if you go to the effects, this will give you an option to change the effects of whatever uh, one you're actually on. So this is the filter and whatever is actually playing. You can see the filter on here. You could change the filters. Right. And you have an option for pre or post. Um, you have your high pass and low pass filters. Um, you have an option for speakers. So you can actually change the way it's coming out of the speakers and how it'll actually sound. You have earbuds, you have Game Boy, you have a jukebox. So like all of these are different options that you have. You have a stereo delay that you can add on here. You have reverb and you also have background noise. So if you want like a vinyl background noise, or like um, beach waves. You have all that right here inside of this plugin. Super, super dope. Uh, you can turn down the volume of it if you want to, but it's still gonna be a part of that sound. I think that's super, super cool uh, that they have the options for that in here, right? So um, let's see if we can make something really quick and um, let's go from there. All right. And in here, it looks like they have like some presets that you can actually use for the guitar as well. So they have a couple of them for the one. So you can actually have it more of a harpy. Have a buzz. Right. So they have a couple of presets that they have in here. You can actually make your own as well, and you can rename the ones that are on here uh, or even delete them if you wanted to. So super, super cool. Um, I think this is a very good option to actually have in your arsenal. If you don't have any guitar VSTs, this is the one I would highly suggest that you actually get. All right, so let's see if we can kind of um, make something really quick. All right, so I'm gonna expand this out. So let's see how those go. Just that simple, we kind of have like a nice little uh, undertone and then we could kind of just go up here and make chords and then strum them out. So skipping every other note, right? So we have that on there. We're gonna go to the A on here, skipping every other note.
right so now we have a nice little uh progression that we have on here so let's go and i'm going to kind of arp these out right so i have an option for an arpeggiator i'll click on here let's go and do like um Let's do an eighth, right? So we're gonna do an eighth. Right, so that's that simple. We can kind of make a nice little uh, progression with this uh, guitar on here. And if we wanted to actually layer it, you can go and layer this guitar. And let's say we do it with the grains one, because I really like the grains. It always sounds really cool. Right, and then we can always go and uh, mess with the velocity on here. So I'm gonna randomize the velocity itself. So let's go and mess with these. So we'll have a nice little um, up and down kind of flow. Right, so now we have a nice little progression on here uh, and then we just add some nice little drums and then we can be on our way. Uh... So, you know, just that simple, just that quick, we can kind of make something um, that'll work for a lot of different things, right? So um, I think this Vital guitar is super, super dope, uh, super, super easy to kind of use. Um, and let's just add a nice little bass on here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab these from here, copy them, and let's add the MIDI onto this one. All right, so now we have a bass on here. All right, so there you have it another one in the books so if you are interested in actually getting this vinyl guitar too i do have a link below in the description like i said it's totally free it's another tool that you can actually add to your arsenal uh, for reaper and actually create some really really dope things in there so with that being said that's pretty much the end of this video make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel and once again it's your boy x.e.l.o until next time, people, peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.